ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen I know that are watching, but if there are any ladies watching, I appreciate you watching too. Um, I am pleased to present the first batch. Don't laugh because it's a very small batch, but I don't know about you. Work always gets in the way of uh, all the other extracurricular things that I uh, I try to keep going. But uh, we got my first batch of wallets made, um, all bifold style, um, because that through the through the survey uh, or through everybody's response, that was the most popular style. Um, but I've got a uh, I've got two blue, and I'll, I'll show you a close-up of these. I've got two blue raccoon wallets, and then these two are both coyote. This is a, uh, let me remember what color this is. This is a buckskin color, this light, uh, this light color, coyote hide, and then this color, which I think is super, I like this one a lot, is cognac. Uh, just kind of a, a dark brown. Um, I've also got one of the front pocket wallets, just simple small wallet in blue beaver tail leather, which I think is pretty sharp. It's pretty neat. I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, then I've also got the deer leather wallet that I had that I showed you to start with in, in my initial videos, the vertical deer leather wallet. Kind of a similar it's a little bit darker than the buckskin and then I've also got the uh, this front pocket deer leather wallet that I made that uh, I figured it's it's a uh, it's very supple this deer leather everything that I've, I've made all of these that I've made I've, I've got an inner liner with cowhide cow leather to give it a little bit of stiffness um, because this leather actually the coon is pretty stiff but uh, uh, the, the coyote and, and deer leather is, is not that stiff so I added on all these I've got the the two-tone is one one color is the cow leather this one is just deer leather it's pure deer leather and it's super super soft and flexible and it's kind of if you're using it for a front pocket wallet honestly that mine is is a little adaptation of a, the a front pocket wallet that I want to try to make out of one of these but it's kind of a combination I've got a, a money clip I've got a single pocket here that I keep my license and, and things in. I've got a little hidden pocket and then two card slots that hold two cards. You could fit more cards than that. And the deer leather, it, for a front pocket wallet, it's really, I think it's nice because it it kind of, it's going to conform and flex in your pocket. So I figured I got this one made. I'll do this at a reduced price if anybody's up for this. But all these, I'm going to give the YouTube audience first dibs on so I've got a uh, I've got all these and like I said I'll bring you up here but these uh, bifolds are gonna be 78 with free shipping in the continental United States the lower 48 78 a piece the uh, this beaver tail is 48 free shipping in the continental US this vertical deer leather I'll go with 56 uh, and again, free shipping. And then this uh, deer leather front pocket will do 40 free shipping. So uh, let me come over here, bring you over here, show you what the wallets look like up close, and then also show you uh, the the other colors that I have. So what I would like to do, or what I'm what I'm going to do, and if there's enough response and reaction, so I'm going to put a link to a page on my website, and I'm going to put these different colors on the site. So initially, if you're interested in one of these pre the wallets that I already have made, if you will shoot me an email, krischris at coyotetrappingschool.com, and let me know which one, and uh, I'll get you set up. It'll be a first come, first serve, and we'll, we'll go through these. And then if there's other requests or if you like one of these other colors, um, it'll be again. It'll be a first come first serve. As I go through, I'll try to try to make the wallet to with whatever color that you want. And then when I get to when I get to your order, if I've still got the leather, I'll shoot you an email, and and it'll just kind of go like that. And I'll try to work through them like that, and hopefully not take too terribly long. But um, I'm, I'm pretty anxious about this. Pretty anxious to see what y'all think of them, especially uh, if if you order some and, and get them and and start to use them. So anyway, I'll bring you over here, and we'll take a closer look. So here we go again. These bifolds, they've got a, a money pocket on the back. They've got two hidden pockets. Um, 
underneath and then two card slots on each side. So you can see this, this uh, it's, it's pretty thin leather, but um, with, the, with the, cow, the cow leather, it is, uh, gives it some body. And then even with the, with the thin leather, there's a little bit of softness. I, you know, I've been carrying mine in my front pocket for uh, several months. And I mean, it's, it's wearing, I say it's wearing, it's kind of, kind of getting a little bit of finish on it. You know, I, I guess you could call it a patina, but the, the deer leather is, is, uh, man, it's, it's really holding up really well. I was worried. I was a little bit concerned with the, the thinness of it, but you know, they make moccasins and, and all kinds of things out of, out of the leather. So I'm not, not concerned about it. Uh, you know, it's, it's a lot more durable than was my initial reaction than you may think. But anyway, there is the, uh, the buckskin coyote, the cognac coyote, and then the two blue coons, the beaver, beaver tail, it's got a, a single large, like a money pocket in the back, and then two card slots on the front. And then this deer has got two card slots again, and a, a money pocket in the in the in the back. And then the uh, the vertical, which has got two card slots on each side, and then a little hidden compartment. You could fold up some cash and stuck, tuck it back there. Uh, but that's gonna, that's going to be it's a, a little bit big, but because of the the flexibility and suppleness, I think that's that would be a nice front pocket fit too. So. That's the that's what I've got made. Like I said, send an email to me with uh, what color you like and what style, and uh, we'll do it first come first serve, and hopefully it fall off the shelf, and and uh, we'll have a line and try to make some more. So here I'm going to show you the other the other colors that I have left, and the other species. So I've got I've got. See if I can keep from getting a shadow, throw a shadow on you there. Um, two bobcats. This is a this is a peanut brittle color, and then a uh, walnut color. Two bobcats. Um, here's a, a raccoon that is. Let's see what color is that? That is a called ox blood. And it's a it's a real dark. It almost looks like it's got a little bit of red in it, but it, it it's hard to tell. It's it's kind of like a brown, deep, super deep red, more of a brownish, a dark brownish color. And then this uh, this is a chocolate colored coon. I think it's pretty pretty sharp. One of the neat things I, I think and I hope from a trapper's perspective is you can kind of see the blemishes in the in the hide. Um, you know what you would never see on the fur side, but once it's processed and you know see the old old battle scars and stuff, which I I think as a, as a trapper I think that's kind of neat. Got one otter in a this is a sand color, very very light brown. Two beavers in a, let's see this is a saddle saddle tan color and then burgundy and you can see that's a that's a pretty deep deep red there um, and then I got the two coyotes that I made the wallets out of that um, the buckskin and then the cognac, which I really, that, I like that cognac. I think that's a, I like that color. I think that's a sharp color. And then I haven't done anything with the snapping turtle, so I don't want to get too wild and crazy, but I got a brittle, got another, uh, ah, burgundy, I'm sorry, I'm spacing. I got the, I got the front and back of those, and I've also got a gray. And then I've got a couple more beaver tails. I've got, see what color is that is walnut then I got this peanut brittle and I've got a black as well and I think that's it other than I do have some um, I 
do have some gator hides that uh, from when I was in living in Florida. I was a nuisance trapper in Florida and the alligator market, I didn't, the area of Florida, I was in North Florida, I didn't get a whole lot of nuisance calls, so I didn't really have enough hides to really make it worthwhile to, to try to market to anybody. Uh, so I wound up having those tan and I've been dragging them around with me for like five years. Um, but I'm, I'm anxious, I hadn't done anything with those and I'm anxious to kind of tinker around with those and, and, and start using those too. So anyway, like I said, I, I appreciate y'all watching and I hope I hope uh, this is something that that be of interest to y'all. And uh, so click on the link, uh, go to the website, check out the different colors if it's something you're interested in and shoot me an email. My address will be on the page, but it's uh, Chris and that's with a K, Chris with a K, K-R-I-S. I need to do both of them so I don't, uh, I need to get set up with K and C H just so I don't be missing any emails. But K R I S at CodyTrappingSchool.com, and uh, let me know if you if you like what style and what color, and uh, I'll try to try to get to work on them and, and try to get these done. This is all the fur that I've got tanned now, but I do have some more fur that I kept over from the season salted that uh, I can I can send off. Hopefully, if this goes well, I can send off prior to season. And obviously, I'm not gonna really have time to be doing much of this during trapping season hopefully hopefully I'm trapping a bunch but uh so but if I can time that right I may be able to get those back right at the end of trapping season um, because obviously whatever I catch during trapping season um, it'll be a it'll be a little bit of lag time before I can get that shipped off so hopefully that'll be kind of a little bit of a staging for me that I can get some fur or some for some leather back if there's enough interest and uh, get to get to making some of that stuff um, right after the season and then by the time I work through that stuff I'll have a new batch of, of, of leather shipped in but anyway I appreciate y'all following along I hope this is a hit let me know your thoughts and uh, get ready get ready because trapping season is coming quick <laughs>